hello there i'm so is my right here with another unlocking tool so this tool as you can see this tool can unlock samsung phones up to samsung s23 ultra running the latest android version so i'm going to show you the secret to unlock this uh, high-end samsung phones and i will show you how the tool operates so first i will show you the trick to unlock uh, samsung phones right here without having to dial any code without having to go through the test mode without having to go through youtube and all that stuff so first when you come right here you will see that we have uh, qualcomm so this particular method that i'm going to show you i will show you other methods right this particular method will be for samsung phones that uses the qualcomm cpu and you know very well that any flagship samsung phone or any high-end samsung phone uses a qualcomm cpu okay so when you open the tool you come right here in which i'm going to show you how you can get the tool later in this video and i will also give you the password of the tool in this video so continue watching so the first thing that you need to do if in case you want to unlock any phone using this tool you have to go to your browser once you get into your browser you're going to search you are going to search so it's my text unlocking tools so that's what you have to do here you click on the link that says my takes unlocking tools so once you get into my website you are going to scroll down and we are going to click on samsung frp bypass files oh you can search this in case you you get into my website after some months while well, i've uploaded a couple of tools and it's hard for you to see this you can just come right here to the search bar and type samsung frp bypass files so when you do that you get into the post just click on it as you can see right here okay great so you just have to scroll down as you can see you can see download all samsung frp loader files so you just have to click this and it will give this drop down and all you have to do you download the model that you are looking for so i haven't included all models right here because uh, not all the loader files have been released yet but i'm going to keep up updating uh, the, the list and even if you don't see the model that you are looking for right here there are still a lot of options in the tool in which you can use to bypass without having to use the loader file but this is the easiest way because when you use this option you can easily bypass uh, a lot of phones like high-end phones like as you can see the supported models right here okay so all you have to do if you want to unlock any of these models you just click on it and it's going to download the loader file so the second thing and when it downloads the, the the loader file and you come to your uh, device manager and you come to your file manager sorry and you will have the loader file you just have to extract it and you will have this file so once you have the file which as you can see right here i have samsung a11 5a so the next thing that you are going to do you are going to go to your browser again and you are going to input the model that you want to unlock and you are going to search the test point as you can see let me show you what i'm doing so if you check right here you will see that samsung blah 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 test point so yeah you really need this because you have to do this in edl mode so you can get the edl mode from different places online yeah, it may be facebook or just search you, you understand so when you search it as you can see right here you can get the test point test point from these pictures so you just have to check the test points this test point will be two points in the mobile pcb in which you will have to bridge to do the unlocking okay so once you know all this once you know the test point by searching on google or just searching on youtube of the particular model that you want to unlock what you will have to do you are going to go back to the tool so when you go back to the tool you come to qualcomm option when you come to qualcomm option it will be in this buy mode right here so this uh, buy mode right here is not an option that you will be using but you can use this at times it has a, a couple of uh, models but not that much but using the loader you have a high chance to succeed so when you click on loader right here you are going to click on this point click on that point then go to the, the folder in which you extracted the loader in which you want to bypass right so you are just going to double click on it and it's going to load the the loader right here so when it loads the loader 
you have to get into EDL mode in their phone using the test points or any method that you have seen online to get into EDL mode in the particular model that you want to bypass. So when you get into EDL mode, let me just give you an example of how you can get. I don't have a phone here to show, but you can actually do either way that I'm saying. So when you see the points in which you can get into EDL mode through the test points, you will see that it has two points. So all you have to do, you have to uh, dismantle the phone, you get into the points, then uh, switch off the phone, breach the, the two points that you have seen with your tweezer. When you breach it, make sure that your tweezer is touching both of the points, then connect your USB cable. So when you connect it and it detects on your PC, that's when the, the you can refresh right here and you can see the driver that the tool has detected the phone in EDL mode and make sure you also download the EDL mode drivers and any other drivers from my website as well. Okay, great. So once you have done that, you click on refresh, it's going to automatically select the, the EDL port of the Samsung that you want to unlock and the next thing that you are going to do you are going to click on read so once you click on read right here the, the tool is going to read the partitions in your device using the loader file that you uploaded so when it reads all the loader the, the partitions it's going to show all the partitions right here and the partitions that you the, the, the only partition that you will need to select right here it's going to show the partitions and you will have to look for persistent partition so the persistent partition is the only partition in which you will have to select keep that in mind so any other partition that it shows right here don't select it except you see persistent because that contains the google account of the phone so once you see all the partitions and you select the persistent partition you just have to come right here and click on erase and I tell you what, it's going to automatically remove the FROP in your Samsung mobile phone or any uh, Qualcomm mobile phone that you succeeded in getting the, the loader. So keep in mind that it, this doesn't only work for Samsung phones. Any phone that you are able to get the loader file, you can also use the method. You understand okay so that was the first method which is the most working method for recent phones and uh, let me show you other things that it all can do also so if you come to to samsung right here you will see that we have this main option right we have the main option in which you can read information when you have adb debugging enabled in the phone and you can reset easily easily reset FRP when ADB debugging is enabled. So there are many ways and many tools to unlock to enable ADB in these phones, right? And I have a lot of tools to do that. So you can do in uh, bypass FRP when ADB is enabled. ADB debugging is enabled maybe by using another tool to enable the ADB. You can remove Samsung account reboot to normal mode and also reboot to download mode right so you can bypass uh, frp method one and method two so you can see this we have a lot of models right here also you can factory reset in normal mode yeah in case you want to factory reset and remove the the password factory reset everything in your phone then you can actually do this right here in normal mode when the phone is on in samsung com mode you understand when the phone is on in normal mode right you can check these other options you can do a lot of things right here like language do a lot of tweaks in the operating system so if you come to repair you can see that you can repair sn but it needs your phone to be root right here you can disable factory mode you need all these uh, options right here mostly needs uh, your phone to be rooted and you can reset EFS so another important option but you don't have to use it in case you don't know what it's about you don't know much about software you understand because resetting this can uh, can lead to IMEI no baseband unknown and all that stuff so you can actually fix that also right here fix the baseband and, and uh, uh, no IMEI in the phone and as you can see right here we have some models right here in which you can do that so you can enable that mode right here so when it comes to this option this is for samsung mobile phones that uses spd cpu uh, exynos cpu and qualcomm cpu right here so let's start with the with the spd so with the spd uh, samsung phones that uh, 
that uses SPD CPU, you can see that it has a lot of models right here. All you have to do is select the model. If you want to write IMEI, you want to repair network, you can actually do this in case your, your phone has no network due to IMEI failure or non-IMEI, like a no IMEI, right? So you can do that. If it's not having network, you can also write the IMEI and try to repair the network using the IMEI, right? So when we come to Exynos right here, you can read EFS or write EFS. You understand? So Samsung, uh, Qualcomm, sorry, you also have a lot of uh, models right here in which you can select. Then read EFS, restore original IMEI. So this is very important in case you are doing any software troubleshooting and maybe you mistakenly wipe the EFS you can actually restore the IMEI right here and also right here you can scan the port in these other options right here so these other things you can do all this in Samsung com mode so we have screen lock right here in which you can for you to use all these options you will have uh, the particular files to do all this so the patch files to remove screen lock without wiping the user data and all that stuff and uh, if you come to network you can flash your, your modem file right here load your modem file right here and flash the, the, the modem file that contains the network settings of your mobile phone so if you come to Huawei you can uh, read information in fast boot mode Relog bootloader right here. You can relog bootloader, bypass FROP in fast boot mode, check bootloader state. Also, bypass uh, FROP in bootloader mode when bootloader in, in sorry, bypass FROP in fast boot mode when bootloader is unlocked. So, you can only do that when bootloader is unlocked. So, you can reboot to fast boot, doesn't need to have ADB enabled. You can uh, also unlock bootloader right here read build number and reset frp by code so these two options are common option in which you need to have the the code to perform any tax these particular two options so right here this is for older androids from android 8 android 8 and android 9 and 10 so you just have to select write the root files uh, select the root file that you have downloaded if it's about flashing the recovery then you select and select the recovery maybe you want to to uh, install custom recovery and all that stuff so we have a normal mode and ADB mode right here for Huawei so you can read information reset FRP ADB yeah read information reset FRP ADB mode uh, re uh, reboot to normal mode reboot to fast boot and all that stuff change languages right here and you can bypass FROP in MTP mode so this particular option right here is very important if you want to bypass a Huawei mobile phone you just have to switch it on in normal mode which will be the MTP mode when the phone is talking the in the screen asking you to input your Google account in which you have forgotten you can just connect the phone to your PC in that normal mode activate the ADB using this option when you activate it you can come right here and bypass the frp using adb mode so you just click right here and click on start so if you want to bypass frp directly in mtp mode which doesn't work for most devices you can just click on reset frp and it's going to work mostly for for all that devices so if you come to test points you can use the same method that i showed you find the test point then you check the cpu running in the particular model of the mobile phone that you want to unlock select the cpu then you can see each cpu will have different models that uh, that are running that particular cpu you understand so you just it has a lot of options very good right so you just select it and uh, if you come to frp reset frp when you have selected it you can bypass all these mobile phones this tool is really perfect you understand so while watching if you need a mobile repairing course to learn mobile repairing from the basics of troubleshooting to the professional level of troubleshooting make sure to send me a message on whatsapp using the number right here on the screen and also you can purchase my course directly from my youtube store check the link in the video description okay you can also load fast boot and read information so all you have to do 
select any option click right here and make sure before you use any of these options you can see that it's test point mode which means that you need to connect the phone to the test point then refresh right here to pick the port before you can do anything so when it comes to android there is nothing much just a repetitive uh, options like the other options that i've showed you right here so this android is a, a general it's like a universal option for any phone that has adb enabled you are in fast boom mode you just can see the uh, twrp recovery mode right here so any phone that has adb it doesn't matter the, the the brand or the model you can actually do anything as you can see right here use all these options so we talked about qualcomm which is the most important option and also you can also flash i did not talk about flashing right you can also flash qualcomm devices right here click on right here select the xml file the rom then you can flash select the partitions if you want to check all partitions to flash then you select right here and do all that stuff and you can also remove mdm lock right here so very good so we also have empty key another good option right here also have empty key which you can load the scattered file if you need an authenticator file then you can also select it you have frp option and you have uh, format options so when you have load the scattered file selecting any of these options will have the address loaded right here for you to just go on then yeah do the unlocking right so this image option right here this is for root routing files right so if you want to install a rom file which will be a custom rom when the phone is rooted that's when you can use this option that's when you can use this option so only when you want to tweak your device operating system so we have this recovery option which is also good you can play with this i don't use all of these options right here if you come to xiaomi another important option right here you can see it supports adb mode and fastboot mode we already talked about this you've come to uh, htc which is really great to see like a free tool supporting all these devices right so you can see it supports adb and fastboot mode also so all these modes you need to have them enabled before you use any of these options you can see it supports a lot of options right here support the bootloader unlocking with a bootloader file flash rom and if you come to app manager right here you can either read the default apps of your phone delete the apps do anything backup apps and all that stuff so if you come to mtp frp this is another good option when bypassing i mean like any type of phone in mtp mode so this is just a manual bypassing method like most of you guys will actually know how to bypass uh, most phones without using a pc all you have to do is know how to access either youtube google map hidden settings and all that stuff so all you have to do come right here if you want to get into youtube struggling to get into youtube you click on youtube while the phone is connecting wow and while the phone is on right then you click on start when you click on start it's going to give the youtube the it's going to prompt up the youtube option for you to open in the phone screen and when you do that you get into youtube and from there you will know how to get into the browser to do all, anything that you want to do then bypass the phone okay so this will be the end make sure you subscribe because i'm going to upload more amazing videos